Today we'll take a look at Hive Database using Flutter. So what is Hive? Hive is a database based on key value and is written in Dart. The main reason why you should use Hive is because it's absolutely fast. If you compare it with, for example, uh, SQLite shared preference, for example, as you can see into the documentation, there are images that uh, show the, the main difference, the main uh, speed of writing and reading uh, compared to these uh, types of storage. And uh, you, you, you will see that. So the only reason why you should not use uh, Hive is uh, when you have a really complex relations. That's because that because uh, it is uh, it is not a relational database. So that said, I say that uh, if you can, whenever you can, it's better to use Hive because it's really really fast and it's really easy. Uh, so as uh, we will see in this video tutorial and um, I, I have tried to do it the most easy way possible and I hope that you enjoy it. So to install Hive we have to do uh, a bunch of things for example we have to install um, these dependencies here so uh, here I have uh, created uh, the default project so that's it and um, what you have to go to do right now is to go into our pubspec.yaml and uh, under dependencies we have to add this dependencies and uh, copy this one to the dev dependencies and do the same thing and then press ctrl save after doing so it may give you this problem here um, to solve this problem, uh, you may need to add a uh, dependency overrides and um, to do so we have to go right here and copy uh, this line here and um, uh, you, we will uh, add this line here, I don't know, we can add it here, press save and hopefully it will work and uh, okay it seems that works good uh, we will find you will find uh, this website in the the, the description um, okay so right now what we have to do is uh, before going forward I have to add another package and uh, the package that we have to add is the um, the path provider this one here, I will add it into the, into this website in our article. I forgot it. So okay, everything set. So what we have to do right now is import um, the package uh, path provider provider. Okay, and then we have to import Hive, obviously. Mm -mm, okay, so let's run our application. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> and uh, meanwhile, what we have to do, I will run the application here because is I will only demonstrate to you how it works. And um, so to run it, we have to say to the body to this function that if is an uh, uh, asynchronous function uh, so it will execute the code um, later and um, uh, now we have to say to, hi to Hive that um, uh, where uh, he has to store his, uh, his database to do this we have to type widgets uh, flutter binding dot answer initialized and then we have to store um, the doc directory into uh, final and uh, it's a future so we will use await and we will have to type get application documents directory okay now what we have to do is type hive 
in it and um, call this variable here and access the path so it's a, an object that contains the path property so after doing so uh, you're done you have initialized hive it's so easy is uh, as i said before is absolutely easy so uh, after doing so let's demonstrate uh, how it works so we have to create um, a simple box by typing var box equal await and um, we have to call hive dot open box and here we can name our box whatever we want and um, you can see the name of the box uh, the um, the idea of box as a table if you have ever used uh, any database uh, you will have found uh, tables so uh, we can try to call it uh, i don't know uh, people okay and now to add stuff to to have we have to type uh, box that n and we have to no let's um so to add stuff to have we can use box that put here we have to type uh, any d let's use for example one two three and um, the value that we want to enter for example i don't know mark and uh, let's create another another one uh, okay so after doing so um, um, i will save and um, i will uh, restart my application so right now you will not see anything obviously because i didn't print out anything and um, but if i comment out uh, this instruction here because after restarting um flutter has executed these functions uh, this uh, see, yes these uh, functions here and um, what i want to show to you is how to get this uh, values so let's or uh, for example uh, person one inside this variable is equal uh, box dot get and the id one two three and person two here okay <coughs> now if we type print person one and we research you will see that it has third mark and um, that's it it's super easy as i said and it's super fast so mm, but now let's do a uh, different thing let's um, i don't think that you may uh, want to use hive in that way but uh, you probably want to um, implement it using a class and um, to implement it to a class um, we have to um, add the so-called type adapters so now we'll create uh, in a simple way uh, a class by creating a new directory that I will call uh, models and here I will create the car dot dart okay so here I, w I have to create a new class that I will call car and that class it is not a simple class because it uh, it will contain some um, special decorators so first of all let's import our package hive i'm sorry okay now inside our car class uh, we have to uh, add some decorators for example hive type and um, a type id 
for this one we will use one so as far as i know uh, every time that you want to create a class you have to use a different id so maybe one two three four five etc and um, that's it so uh, let's add some properties to the car for example string name and um, uh, i don't know string model and int here okay <coughs> i think that is enough so uh, what we have to add to these properties that is a special decorator uh, by hive is a hive field with um information that he, he needs uh, an integer and um, this uh, number here have to be uh, incremental maybe i will use two so after doing so we um we will uh, call our constructor car and we will ha have to add our fields for example uh, name this model is that here okay and uh, that's it so after creating the glass car um, we have to do the last thing that is at this part here and uh, we can use the class name car dot g dot dart and we have to type um, uh, a command going into our terminal uh, your folder the folder where you have uh, your project and type flutter packages pub run build runner and build okay we have to wait a little bit and as you can see it has created this thing here this is a type adapter and um, it is automatically created after you use this command but if you want to create your own you can follow along with the documentation so now let's go into the main that dart and um, right now to use this new uh, class that we have created with hive we have to do uh, one simple thing and um, is to register a new adapter so to do so we will use uh, um, this uh, syntax here is like if we type hive that in it and we follow with this one and um, we have to type register adapter and we have to add our adapter uh, but before doing so we have to obviously import our model so we have to go here uh, models uh, car obviously and we have to uh, type car adapter execute it and it's done so uh, for example here we can type cars maybe and uh, um, on put now we can create uh, we can add uh, uh, we can add the uh, values by our our new model so we have to type box that put uh, any D doesn't matter and we will use the car constructor and uh, for example here we I have to type uh, the BMW test not text maybe test and 2002 i don't know it's okay so control save maybe we will do this and this or maybe we can delete them and uh, let's create a new uh, variable car 
and we will type uh, box.get and uh, let's use this ID here car okay now let's restart and let's see what happens so as you can see it finds uh, the the car so if we take uh, if we type car.name uh, mm, as you can see it will print out bmw and um, that's it i hope that is the most clear possible and uh, see you next time